gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cut this shot! Your arms are just too short to box with God. He came with his mother seven foot one. <laughs> They had to get a goddamn train to get that bitch out. That was for real. Motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love them already. I love them already. All right, thank you for joining the Future Hero <laughs> Podcast. I'm going to start it off today. My name is Brian, Brian Man Peacock. We're here with... <laughs> Take the best of the realm of honor. Oh, God. The most embarrassed man in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a full oh. cast tonight. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, and uh, you're resonant. Chris, uh, resident indie wrestler Chris Braddock, aka Chris Gonzalez, on the end. Resident indie wrestler, I love that. That's what you're gonna be. <laughs> and you're... the coach is back. Yep. All right, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> if you was here, you could see I'm blushing, but you can't really see the blushness. I can't either. Is that, is that even a word, blushness? <laughs> it is now. It is now, right? It, here. it is now. It's on Webster, the podcast now. I'm gonna text oh, Webster Dishery right on, now. Keeping on. That's all we can do. And uh, we're not in the garage today, so I'm gonna be walking around. <laughs> all right. That's good to know. That means we are not. What are you talking about? We have a set. Sleep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big set. It's big fancy. Yeah, we have video cameras that we don't use. Hey, yeah. I feel so right right now. You know. <laughs> I feel like we're getting paid to do this. Yeah, you're definitely not. Wait, I am. we're not. No. I'm getting paid. Oh, I'm not even getting paid at this point. What the hell am I work. doing here? No, I'm just kidding. No, what the hell are you doing here? I don't know. Okay. Keep so, talking. I'm doing things. <laughs> so since uh. We last spoke. We, uh, you guys had a show. We didn't discuss because we were kind of waiting on you to yeah. show up. And, yeah, um, you know, there, there was some rough times, so I didn't show up for a couple weeks. And uh, all those videos are available at YouTube.com if you look up Future Villains. No, that's not true. We just did that. Look up what wrestling has of tomorrow. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> hey, both work. Both uh, work. Yeah, are the videos from that show up? I didn't look at Yes, they are. They are up? Or mine are. I don't know about... Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, the, the other ones are getting uploaded to an editor right now, and then the editor will be posting shortly. Okay, because we actually have... Uh, we did the live commentary, so that has to be added on to the video. What's that? The uh, commentary back. we did. Oh, yeah, those are That's on my videos. And, yeah, yeah and the, uh, the editor has the... The raw and my audio. and my wrestling match with Roman Reigns. Yes, that is up on our channel. Which I have to say that was epic. Yeah, I think that could be on Raw. To be honest with you, I yep. mean, hey, that's crazy. That can't hey, be on hey, Raw because that was too damn good. Hey, <laughs> hey, everyone has to job the Roman Reigns, right? Not saying I lost, but you know, you lost. Yeah, do what you gotta I do. Lost. <laughs> you lost. You do that you one, do. yeah, that one's Roman Reigns versus the what roster? Yeah, um, you know, the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Minus Zach Cooper. I mean, uh, yeah, let's not go into that right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that guy. We've talked about that plenty. We, yeah, we've had him on the show. Hey, it's my coach. Him. I'm not trying to have any bias here, so let's. All right, we'll leave him out of this. We'll leave him out. Fuck that. Let's go. Well, my coach. Is here. <laughs> my yes, coach that's here. right. Our coach is here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm a free agent. Just so oh, you know. you're a free agent. I'm a free agent. Well, you know what? We'll we'll get something cooking. It's gonna be a stable. Yeah, we this need couch right here can be a stable. I'm in. You know I'm in. I got a good name. Bullet Club. Nah. I don't know what's <laughs> and you know, I Sweet full, too. full disclosure, I'm sitting here with my Bullet Club shirt and um, I just saw it in the mirror and kinda realized that where we live, it probably could be taken the wrong way if I'm not walking around. Yeah. I don't think anyone around here is gonna know that it's the Bullet Club and they're probably like, Oh, that guy goes shooting. Yeah, probably. I'll definitely get shot or put in jail. Oh yeah, you can't. Oh yeah, you, shirt. you can't Walking wear that shirt. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucked. Luckily, I'm a Cuban that looks white, so I'll, I'd be pretty alright. They'll just profile you. They'll shoot me. <laughs> so, did anybody really watch Raw and SmackDown? I watched NXT. I did. I watch them every weekend. I watch NXT, and uh, I also I'm gonna probably gonna put some two cents in. The British UK ter- Championship got their own show on the network, which was fantastic. Oh, you guys should show probably check now? it out. Yeah, it's actually as long as SmackDown. It's like an hour and forty minutes. Wow. Okay. And it when was, did that happen? That that was announced not too long ago, and they said, "Oh, on the network, they're gonna have their own show, and the two hundred five live guys are gonna um, we're gonna tour with them." Okay. And it was, and the first episode was pretty good. It was pretty good. So they're putting oh, oh. together the cruiserweights and the UK guys. Yeah, 
But wow. J- yeah, just some just some of the 205 Live guys will go over there and show up on the show because they don't have a huge roster. That's a roster. Yet. Won't they crap. just do like they did with like main event? You know, like have it on Wednesday. You know, remember back in the day? They still main have event main event. still comes on. Does I, it really? I fight yeah, it. they they still filmed it before Raw or whatever at the, oh. at when you go to Raw Live. That's what the Aleister Black versus Kurt Hawkins match was on. Yeah. yeah. And that cycles through when I'm on Hulu. I don't yeah, know when yeah. it comes on cable, but... Well, I'm saying, like, well, they, they should have it, like, on cable every Wednesday, the 205 and the British guys. Yeah, yep. I, I, you know I guess, but they, but they want to sell their network. They want to get their I was going to say, yeah, that's oh, yeah, only that's on the good. network. Yeah, yeah. But, see, like, the, the, Brit, the UK show, though, the, the pre-main was... Uh, it was Trent Seven versus Pete Dunn, and that was fantastic. And then the main event was Mark Andrews versus Tyler Bate. And okay. it was so good. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I'll watch any program they put on there that has actual wrestling in it. The other Absolutely. shows are trash. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I tried to watch the Foley show, but it, oh yeah, yeah. It, I, it, I, it, I it hurt like, my soul. I like those kinds of shows. I don't like that Foley show. It seemed fake. Yeah, it seems super fake. Really? Really? <laughs> it's lame. A song on the network seemed fake. Well, I like uh, that. I like reality shows, and I know they're... F- I like Total Divas. You know, my no, favorite show My wife shows? watches it. I used to watch that until, you know, they got... They got my freaking... Yo, hours, did y'all see, speaking of Total Divas, Brie just announced she's training to get back in the ring again. Really? really? After she had her baby. Yeah, she just had her baby not too long ago, and she just announced she's gonna get back... She's gonna be awesome. training to get back in the ring. It's her. probably not gonna be full-time, though. Their women's roster's pretty full right now. She yeah. Pre- she it's probably gonna be a baby, part-timer. Do you think it's full? I think it's... I don't, I don't think, think I don't think they're there yet. It's, it's there full, yet. but they need to get rid of some. At, yeah, at, at yes. Carmella for one. Really? Really? Oh god. Carmella's no, I so like bad. Carmella's character. I do too, but her re- her wrestling talent in the ring doesn't make up for it. I don't think we've got to see. I don't think she's got a shot though. Uh, I, I see. I seen her even in NXT. Live. I didn't like it. That girl is sexy. <laughs> She's I, I'm glad we're going straight there. We've but, seen it. I'm just saying, you know, hey, I'll keep it on it. And keep she, wears, the she wears a choker to hide how long her freaking neck is. That's, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Right, I'm not kidding, mind. dude. I'm not kidding. Giraffe, man. Well, look who her boyfriend is. I got a feeling this is going to well, cycle yeah. back around to. I don't uh, even know how she walks around after. Uh, or anyway. SoCal Val. And a big cast is her boyfriend. How the heck does she walk around after they have festivities? Free mode. Okay, so speaking of big cast, <laughs> one of the only interesting things. <laughs> wow. Keep it on the rails, Jacob. Can me and him be on the podcast every week together? <laughs> That's what I, Okay, so we should probably bring this up. I told Brian, who I guess we could do this now, we should just sneak away from the podcast and let these two blab. <laughs> yeah, you got. They won't know we left. We're, we can go cook. Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah, because we got <laughs> food waiting in there to be cooked. Turkey burger. We can go ahead and cook. Yeah, and as good as that would sound, that would probably be the only time me and him would be like, shit, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We probably won't even talk about wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, back no. I, yeah, we'd probably have conversations I'd get in trouble with my wife. <laughs> yeah, like the intro of the show today. <laughs> I don't even know what they were talking about. I was, I, I grabbed some waters, came and sat down, saw we were recording, and uh, I had to get the show started. So. I didn't even know we were recording. <laughs> yeah, I hit my horn and was looking at Brian, and then Brian can kind of see I it. just look over, and I'm like, oh, okay, we're recording. <laughs> hey, there's been plenty of podcasts that, you know, they are murmuring stuff oh, before they start Oh, have you ever listened to the Nerdist podcast? They just hit record as soon as the guest walks in. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's the best though. That's, that's, that's awesome that's though. That's, film, well, that, that's that's pure on. that's pure entertainment though. That's yeah. the best. Right. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, so back to Raw. Yes. Once again, Enzo Mori got fucking jumped. I... I, I listen. I I already I already I posted it on Facebook on my status. That I was like, you know, they're setting up Big Cass to be by himself. It's gonna be Big Cass jumping them. I agree. I, like I agree. he he, get, he that's like the third or fourth time he's been jumped blindly and never figure out who it is. First thought was Russo because he was having the whole thing with Lana, mm-hmm. and then there was the whole thing with the club. But then they didn't really do anything with it. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, they they had a feud, but it never came out like, oh, this is who fucking jumped me, like at all. Like, and I think it was supposed to be Kevin Owens the very first time in NXT. That never, nothing ever came of that. Yeah, and then it, like it, so, I think they're gonna do because I heard that WWE is pretty impressed with the cast. And yeah, his, yeah. Are you his, though? And like, I, I don't. I you know I'm not. He, I, mean, I think he's a big not oaf. Necessarily. I think he's a big oaf, and I mean the only good lines he says is just because Enzo wrote him for him. He gonna spell Can't it out for that. you. So I don't I, mean, I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. 
Pro- hopefully not. What if they just hopefully not? What if they just split them up in the in a sense that it's Enzo as a manager? En- Enzo that's, can't. I would say because en- Enzo can't work by himself. He pretty uh, yeah, which is entertaining. And no, yeah, I'm not, entertaining. listen. No complaints here. I just don't think it's a good idea to split them up. And they're as over as can be. Yeah. Between them, Ty Dillinger and Bailey, I don't know who else is more over than those than those guys. Like the. The most overseen in my life. Oh, and Shinsuke Nakamura. That I yeah. understand. I don't get Ty Dillinger. Really? I Dude, Ty, Ty Dillinger is great. I, he's good. He's Listen, he's the I, best type of old school worker. I, I don't not like him. I don't understand why everyone loves him so much, though. He He's just because he's that good. And his gimmick is whatever. It's always been whatever. But he he's just always been so good. And he got stuck with Jason Jordan in the beginning, and that didn't work. They tried giving him a whole bunch of other gimmicks in NXT. It just didn't work. Yeah, one gimmick we saw at a live show. He came out basically like the male version of the original Alexa Bliss. What? I don't remember yeah, that. He had like oh. snowflakes and stuff on his tights. Oh, no. I think it was still Ty Dillinger, but like he... Oh, was, my God. That was Ty. Yeah. Holy crap. Like I forgot about that. the male original Alexa Bliss. Wow. And they didn't even they didn't even give Alexa Bliss that gimmick for very long. Yeah, which I love that gimmick though. I wish she got it back, but that's all right. Yeah, but you it's know. still mostly there. Ah, the cheerleading thing? No way. She's more like, you know, because she got with Blake and Murphy, and then, you know, and then she came just like her gimmick's pretty much just, hey, I'm a bitch, and throws tamper tantrums. I yeah, hate, I hate that man. You don't like really? Alexa Bliss? I like Alexa Bliss, but it's like. I don't know. That, that character pisses me off. Well, it's Especially when she started it. coming out like Harley Quinn. Did you I see agree. that? I agree. Start, uh, she, the, the pigtails and the yeah. pigtails had different colors. And then the then she, she walk had around colors. and she twisting that big ass she got and stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> you know what, Lexa? I hate you so much, but I can't keep my eyes off you. Listen, <laughs> her her in-ring work is great, though. Like, yeah. And, and, like, looks aside she got, she got She got a little bit of old school kind of feel to her. A little, I, a little bit. I, a little I, bit. I love it. The only, the only thing I didn't like, I think it was, was it this week. She wrestled Mickey James. Was it this week? Uh, uh, yeah. I she think finished so. with just a regulation DDT, and I was like, "Yeah, what was up with that?" Hmm. I don't think that's the first time she's done it either. Yeah, like I mean, a regulation DDT is like cool and all, like you know. But a little spin as, on it, as a finish, I mean, her the, the twisted bliss is so good. Mm-hmm. That's such a good finisher. That's one of those things that, like, you literally tell her, hey, you have to at least go for it once. Is that the off the top rope move? Yeah. I used to be yeah. the sparkle splash. Yeah, it used to be the sparkle splash, I, now it's the twisted bliss. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's so good, and I don't understand. Like, at me, I do the infrared, which is the 540 moonsault. All right? So, and the 540 moonsault sent on. That's one of my main finishers. Even if I'm not hitting it, I at least go for it once, just because it's a crowd pleaser. Yeah, right. right. And I feel like her twist of bliss is the same thing. Yeah. So I didn't see why she would start finishing with just a DDT all of a sudden. I don't know. But well, hopefully it's a build up to something. Well, like for me, the the rivalry her and, and Mickey James is great. I think because both of them are so good. Mickey James has been one of the best women's wrestlers forever. 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 She. I mean, you, you look back at like Victoria. Victoria was fantastic, but. The thing that made her career was the Widow's Peak because it was one of the grossest moves you'll ever see. Mickey James invented it. Mickey James gave it to her because Mickey James is so small, and Victoria right. had power behind her. So, oh, really? like you know, without that, who knows how good Victoria would have been? What are you guys thinking about this kendo stick on a pole match? Apparently, Vince Russo's back. Yeah, it seems that way. Um, well, uh, you know, after seeing, you could see like how bad. Alexa welted Mickey James pretty yeah pretty good like she was getting her pretty damn good. Now uh, this this isn't the first hardcore women's match, right? No, 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 no they just did, they just did, they just did how sure. they, Sasha and Charlotte just did that first ever women's Hell in a Cell not too mm, long ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the point they're trying to to um, do the equality thing, which is awesome. Yeah, it's about time. And they're the last it. they're the last thing they're the last people to do it. Shakara's main champ was Kimberly, yeah. main champ, not mm-hmm. women's champ. Yeah, she, who's now in NXT? By who's the way. now in NXT? And she'll be in in the May Young Invitational 
which I cannot awesome. wait for. I cannot have they announced wait. any of the wrestlers? For they, that? they announced the dates. They haven't yeah. an- announced all the wrestlers yet. Well, but she's in NXT, so it would be well, kind yeah. of a surprise if she was in NXT. Yeah, well, I mean, especially because she's an unknown in NXT. It would be weird for, yeah. like, Ruby Riot to be in it. Because, you know, she she's may be, though. Like, you look at the Cruiserweight Classic, I'm, I'm comparing it to that. Sure. Like, none of them were already roster members except for Gargano and Ciampa. Right, yeah. And then, you know, so... So, uh, yeah, so what did... I'm sure you guys saw what happened there. What did you guys think about that? The, well, uh, Ciampa turning on Gargano? I knew yeah. that was going to happen. I, I knew that eventually that was going to happen just because I went to the Cruiserweight Classic the first round myself. Yeah. And the first round main event was Ciampa Gargano. That was such and an And it was a match. masterpiece. It was amazing. Now, man. something that really upset me was we did an episode on the PWI, right? Is that the magazine? Yeah. I and it was so. like the top matches of the year. None of the Cruiserweight Championship matches were on that. that that's that, crazy because yeah. like Cedric Alexander versus Kenta was like... It was Ciampa both. versus Gargano. Ciampa versus Gargano was awesome. And then I gave, me personally, I gave Cedric Alexander and Cody Ibushi in the second round, I gave them like a six, like a like five and a half stars. That match literally sent chills in my bones <laughs> in yeah. every inch of my body. Like after Kenta kicked out of the Brain Buster soul butt combo, I literally chills went down my body. And I haven't felt that since Taker Michaels 25. Right, yeah, yeah, and then the yeah. match with um um oh my god the the older guy the oh my god Paul London and oh, oh Paul my Lund- god Paul, Paul you mean Brian Kendrick yes yeah. Brian Kendrick oh Brian you know, that match where he, he ended the guy with the the burning hammer oh uh, it was one of the best burning hammers ever god. it was almost as good it, it, <coughs> if it, it as good if not better than Kabashi's it was so gross so how were none of those matches in that magazine not even an honorable mention. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Did the timing line up for them to be on there, though? Sure. I don't remember. Exactly. You just got people that don't know what the hell they're doing. Well, I mean, you know what? Dave Meltzer, who usually is the big guy that gives the stars out for the matches, he did give uh, Kenny Omega and uh, and Akata six stars. The first ever six-star match ever. Oh, wow. And um, and it, it was that good. It, I watched the whole thing. I literally bought the New Japan service just for that match just for wrestle kingdom i don't know that i've watched that i haven't seen it. wrestle kingdom 11 and it was it dude okada versus omega was just rainmaker right yes. Okada. yeah yeah Definitely. that match we watched with okada and tanahashi oh man that was a good match <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and one of the wrestle new japan is like guaranteed on their on their pay-per-views you'll get one five-star match like they're that good at least oh. one i'm sure right. what do you think about their uh, expansion to the u.s thank god yeah, they would be fairly not happy. Well, with they, the only, oh, the well only, I'd hope not. The only problem is, is that Dragon Gate tried a long time ago. Remember that? Oh, Much did, smaller they, company they did, though, they right? Did Dragon Gate USA. Well, in Japan, they sell at the the Tokyo Dome just as much as hmm. New Japan does. Yeah, right? I and think they Dragon tried Gate the Dragon second. Gate USA stuff, and it didn't, didn't catch really, on. Yeah, but it it just, wouldn't pro wrestling Noah be the second? I thought Dragon Gate was second. Noah died after. Uh, Masawa died. Masawa partly run that, and then oh, and okay. then Noah kind of went down the drain after that. But I think uh, New Japan has a big enough name already now because yeah. right now now yeah. I'm sitting here wearing a Bullet Club shirt because of New Japan and wrestling. Nakamura, yeah, and um, Kenta, yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Kenta, I I associate Kenta with uh, with Noah. Okay. I think that was the first time I really started getting into Kenta and saying he was wrestling for pro wrestling Noah a lot. But yeah, it's just, you know, Finn Balor and the club and all these guys that are here in the WWE now. And people are yeah. going to Google where they came from. I mean, yeah. one, of, one of the best shows I've ever seen was uh, Super J Cup 94, and that's a, uh, an event that New Japan does every year. Right. Um, and it's for the cruiserweights. And in 94, you had Ben Wall on the card. You had Jericho on the card, wow. Justin Thunder Liger, Hayabusa. Like it was. I've been meaning to go back and watch the Tanahashi. One. Tanahashi when he was super young and just starting out. Like one of the best shows I've ever seen, and one of the best matches I've ever seen was Liger versus Hayabusa from that show. It was just I, I could watch that match 
for the rest of my life and be happy. Speaking of Finn Balor in a club, did you see it was uh, Balor versus Carl Anderson? Yeah. You know, that was a good match, too. Oh, was it? Yeah, I missed yeah. that. Yeah. For sure. Carl Anderson should have been signed years ago. He's always been so good. Well, thank God he wasn't, though. I don't know. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, they started the Bullet Club, but I think the Bullet Club could have happened without Carl Anderson. Maybe. I think it was mainly because of Anderson and Gallows, though. Was it Anderson and Gallows? I feel like it was, like, AJ, Finn... No, no, no it, was, it was them two started. Finn think, first, not AJ. Finn, I'm talking about Gallows and Anderson. Right, it was them that started. Yeah, yes. yeah. Finn, yeah. Finn started when he turned on his partner. I can't remember his name, so I'm still really bad right. at all the Japanese guys' names. But he turned on him. Uh, I know Fale was there when he did it, and uh, Car- uh, Gallows and uh, Anderson. Anderson. Uh, yeah, it was Gallows and, and Anderson. I, I, know, as well, I, know, I, know, I know Anderson used to tag with. Uh, with uh, uh, Prince Albert. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I wasn't sure if maybe that started then or... Well, cause... I think he, Gallows replaced Albert yeah. pretty much. I, I'm not a little, I've always loved Albert. I thought he was always one of the best yeah. wrestlers they had. And then he, he was good when used, he came... He's never used well. When yeah, he came yeah. over his 10 side, he was good. It I was just it. weird. I like yeah. I liked <laughs> it. I liked it. I liked it. Weird. I liked yeah. It. And then... It just went down happened. hill. Yeah, nothing happened with it. I feel, he, like you say, he is a good wrestler. Yeah, now he's like yeah, a trainer fast. or writer. Yeah, or and scout that's great that he's the trainer over there. Apparently, he's making a big impact. Him and uh, uh, it was, it's him and someone else. I think Steve Carino. Uh, Carino, and I think isn't Bill DeMott still doing it? No, I don't no? think so. There was a big scandal. He got he got, he uh, retired. He, he was like making dudes that. wrestle naked and shit. He did. He he was a part of <laughs> some kind of bully kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah. so glad hazing, I never right? went to the performance center. No, it wasn't hazing. It was just bullying. He was something that happened. Bullying. Yeah, Make I, him wrestle naked and do other stuff, uh, call him racial names. And it, it was real bad. It was, and he and re- they don't he even was wrestle like, that hard on WWE TV. Yeah. But JBL's still hanging in there. <laughs> yeah, listen, <laughs> oh, don't that, that, that's, that's the biggest contradiction ever with the Be A Star, the Be A Star stuff and then JBL still on comes. I love John, I love JBL, I've always loved JBL, but that was messed up, man. <laughs> like, you gotta anymore. get rid of him. They ain't gonna get rid of him. They got to. They're not get rid of him. They need to bring Mario back. He's much better. I agree. I love him. I miss him. Love him. So, I speaking of coming back, what do you guys think of the Golden Age is back, according to Goldust? If he lives up to it, I'll I be happy. I love. I love it. Goldust has aged like fine wine, dude. Yeah. The dude can still wrestle circles around most of these young kids. <laughs> yeah, that he's is true. so good. And our truth is over 50 years old, man. Like, he doesn't have that much I, You know what? I am still shocked that our truth is still in the WWE. And still good. You know, I thought, like, at first he was gone for a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He used to be K-Quick back in the day. Oh, I remember, I remember, I remember K-Quick, K-Quick, K-Quick yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then he went to TNA forever. As wrong the truth killing. So yeah, I think he did yeah, well. Yeah, live yeah, crew yeah. or so, yeah, so. yeah, he did pretty well in TNA. Didn't yeah, he did yeah. pretty well in TNA. Yeah, yeah. I think him and uh, yeah, and, and then they signed a whole bunch of TNA guys like going into when they did the new ECW quote unquote like Monty Brown and the oh, Alpha Male. Name. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, the oh. Alpha Male, Monty Brown, and a couple oh, other guys. Yeah. I mean, come on, the pals. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that was. That was so TNA. <laughs> like, that's like, you're that's not like, wrong. You mean, you mean not Total wrong. Nonstop Action Impact Wrestling presented by Anthem featuring Global Force Wrestling? Fuck that owl! Yes, yes. that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm so glad yeah, we, we get realized that, that it's show. like all their championships are Global Force Wrestling championships. Yep. Yeah, because I was trying to catch up Dude, on it. You I know what that means? They turned into a complete indie, indie fed. That's what that means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, they're just defending everyone else's belts. I mean, dude, when Drew oh. McIntyre was the champ over there, guess what? He was also champ at, like, you know, he was also champ in Ring of Honor. He was also champ here. Like, they're an indie fed now. End of story. They're just... Yeah, but they're shit. <laughs> well, yeah, because the, the people that run TNA storylines are just garbage. They had think... all the talent in the world. They're just they're, yeah. they're garbage. I think TNA would do better if they just dropped their storyline <clears throat> and just had good wrestling. Yes. Absolutely, and that's what Ring of Honor tries to do, and I wish Ring of Honor would do the freaking storyline. At least Ring of Honor on TV. The Ring of Honor that they put on TV, the three-match card, I I just can't watch it. I was telling Brian earlier, like, Ring of Honor TV, I just can't. I, 
I can't do it. For some reason, it's just not it's not as mu- as good as just watching the pay per views of Ring of Honor every time. Not caring yeah, about the stories. I agree. Yeah, and then on the yeah, Fight yeah. TV app, it's hard to keep up like chronologically what's going on. Yeah. So like the stories are like, wait, I thought they already had that match. Now they're, sh- they're I'm seeing a promo about it, but it happened like last right, week. So maybe you can answer this, but they're not in chronological order, right? They just kind of. Uh, I don't mix them. think so. I think they pretty much like. I think it's pretty much a cat a cash grab. Like a main event kind of thing. Where like they yeah, just, they just like oh uh, here's the ones you can watch now. You know, like just reach into the bag and pull them off. Yeah, yeah. that's what it feels like. It, it, it definitely it's how, it's definitely how it feels like. I Which wish is they would unfortunate. Do it in chronological order, but if TNA went back to the old TNA. Like when they were just it, to me, they was like relentless. Like no fucks was given. Yeah, TNA yeah. used to be badass. It, like, and that was when Jeff Jarrett was running. He, yeah. and, and listen, I'm not the biggest Jeff Jarrett's Jarrett around fan. again though. Yeah, but like I, I've never been the biggest Jeff Jarrett. Well, global like folks. he's as a person, he's not a great person. However, like NWA TNA was fantastic. Well, supposedly Billy Corgan's buying NWA, mm. which is just does that mean anything though? I'm, what is NWA? What NWA does it mean is great. anymore? Um, NWA is still great as a as as a wrestler. But it's wrestling. Together. It's championship wrestling from Hollywood. That's the only thing I know that's associated with NWA. Oh well, I actually I, I was telling Brian I have a booking in a couple months for NWA Smoky Mountain in Tennessee. Okay, there's and, they're and, still out there. NWAs are like they have like it's all like they're like territories still. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they still trying to do the territory thing okay. pretty much. Um, I guess and, I just never hear about it. Well, yeah, because it's all it's all WWE now. Back when NWA was huge, that was when WWE was just starting Raw, and you know WCW hadn't even oh, existed course. yet. Mm-hmm. So NWA was still like the thing. That was where Ric Flair got famous. That's where Rick, Ring and Dragon Steamboat got famous. Like all of them. But so. I guess it's just like if Billy Corgan buys NWA, what does he do with it? What can he do with it? Like what does he get? The, he the only thing he can do differently than what he's doing now is just put it on TV. But what is he buying? Yeah. The name? I guess just yeah. I guess just. Are the there brand. belts? There's no there, there contracts. There are belts. Okay. There are belts. Um, there are NWA belts, and like I think, I think they're not. I'm not positive about this because I've only had one NWA booking, and then one that's coming up. But like I, from what I know, I think there's an NWA champion. Sure. Of, like of all the territories. Pretty sure there is. Yeah. And then you have the territorial championships, which is like the. Intercontinental, like you know, like the minors. Yeah. Um, but I think there's always just one big NWA champion of all the territories. I think. I think that's how it works. I'm you not shouldn't. Positive. You shouldn't wrestle minors. That's probably illegal. Uh, <laughs> I'm short. I'm short enough. Yeah. Probably get away with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a five seven wrestler, man. I mean, <laughs> there's probably a twelve year old six three somewhere that I can probably get away with wrestling. Yeah. Okay. But to me, it's like if you buy TNA, you <laughs> buy the I roster. Went to that's a big thing. You buy the roster, you buy the name, you buy the the TV deals and all that type of thing. If you buy NWA, I mean, it kind of like be buying what? Like what? What do you Essentially. get? Essentially, okay. It's, I'm, and it's like well, buying FIP like or something. From I'm looking it up so. right now. Uh, yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna read everything. Sure. But I've got a map here of NWA territories. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's broken up. Looks like there's quite a few. Uh, it looks like it's probably like a franchise type situation. Okay. Where like you buy it, you p- could possibly buy into a. You probably like, buy NWA territory. The logo you buy like the promotion of it. So if he's buying uh, NWA, hopefully with the goal to get it on television, could you imagine if there was like a, like a weekly show, for each territory in that respective like area. That's how it used to be. And then the yeah. like the pay per view would be like a a, na- a national everybody like, coming together. Yeah, yeah the, that's how it used to be when it was AWA and NWA. That's how yeah. it was. So you you watch your local wrestlers. I would. And then you and then there would be the few and far, like far and few in between that would travel all the territories, and you would see you would see that person that be on I, every I like television. That. Yeah, like that, that, that would like be fun. That. Now let me let me uh, ask you this. Local TV. I asked them this before. Let me ask you. Well, you know, you got people buying promotions, and you got like New Japan, New Japan coming over here. Right. Do you think there's a promotion that could compete with WWE? No. No. With time selling, like. I even even with all the indie marks, um, to me, even with all the indie marks that and and the indie 
like I say indie marks. Listen, I'm a fan. I'm not one of those wrestlers that's like, oh, well, you know, I just do it and leave or whatever. I'm a fan. I go to shows, and I'll go to even an indie show if I'm not booked just and to I, watch. Cause, after going to the what show, I know what you mean by that now. Yeah, you know, because, like, you know, there's a lot of old schoolers that's like, oh, if you're not on the show, don't go. It's like, why? Why is it such a big deal not to be a fan of your craft? Right. And, um, and to me, I feel like even with the, in, with the power of the indie crowds, which is massive, and in every country, everywhere, they still can't beat the power of kids, right? And, and indies, sure. But I, I the thing is that in, wrestling fans are very smart, but kids, they don't really. If you go into the really big, complicated sequences, the kids don't get what's going on, which is why WWE is so simple. So you know, and sure. to where it's easy to call and easy for the kids to follow. It's like when a newspaper writes at like a fourth grade reading level. When so, does that um, ever happen? What? <laughs> hey, I'm sitting on the end of the couch, man. I'm just kidding. No, you don't. No, ah! Like, when you write an article for, like, a newspaper, yeah. it has to be written at a fourth grade reading level. So is it everyone, really? Yeah. Okay. So everyone can understand it. <laughs> oh, God. I still don't fucking get it. <laughs> but then you get that. <laughs> so if they can bump it down to... <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to, cray, to crayons. Thanks, coach. And yep. C-spot run. <laughs> You're just trying to ruin all your credibility on this podcast. I'm, I'm <laughs> credibility? You know what, though? I'm sitting here and y'all talking about this and that. And uh, I do have bad credit, though. But, yeah. uh, but wait, before you get going, I, I have been afraid because Jeremy's been a little quiet. So I know he's been thinking. So well, uh, Thinking and uh, listening. Yeah. I, yeah, I've been ahead. thinking, you know. <clears throat> y'all got, you know, y'all saying New Japan is coming to America. Right. New Japan, I, you know, I love New Japan fucking badass what if and I'm just going off my imagination in my mind and, and my imagination is so big Disney World stole my fucking ideas oh boy they owe me some fucking money I wouldn't man. challenge that's the one place I wouldn't challenge they're gonna take I will the walk right into that mouse house and slap the shit out of that son bitch <laughs> dude the castle's gonna be the white house in a in hundred years so. and I'm the man that's gonna run it anyway what if like New Japan came over here they just started you know Dominated shit, like you know how dumb, like oh, the indie scene, absolutely. What if like Finn Balor and all them left WWE and went to New Japan? Never happened. You don't think? No way. Like th- this is their dream. Like they grew up watching. They grew up watching Hulk Hogan. They grew up watching. Hulk Hogan left too, though. Yeah, but like they grew up watching yeah. those guys in the in the WrestleManias and and Ultimate Warrior and all these guys. That's their dream. That was what they and, you wanted know, to get I to. I agree with that, but you know, you can live your dream to a certain amount. If like, something else, like like when Hulk Hogan was with WWE, mm-hmm. he left. He wanted something new. Yeah. He went and helped somebody else compete with WWE. Cody well, Rhodes just did it. There you go. Cody, Cody Rhodes said he's probably going to come back anyway. Oh, yeah, I, I think he will. I think he will, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. sure he will. He's he just, just, he just needs a break from that. He, well, yeah, because then they gave him the stupid Stardust gimmick. And Which was so awful, man. Listen, they wanted... Listen, it wasn't that bad because his brother's gold dust. Like, yeah, you know, so... Man. But at the same time, it's like, Cody's so talented that, like, gimmick kind of hampered him a little. They, the only good thing about that gimmick was for Cody is that it actually gave him a little bit more mic time. And he, and he came up with all the celestial promos. Or whatever. I really have him with a fucking paper bag over his face than with that shit. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he was he better doing that than the freaking painting. But I think if they would have let him have a little more free reign, especially when the Ascension joined him, they could have made that pretty cool. I like the Stardust character. I like the possibility. The problem was we never got Stardust versus Goldust. That Why is the true. fuck did that never happen? That is true. We didn't get that. They released Cody no. too fast. No. Right? We never got that. We they, never got they, it on a big scale. They, they released Cody way too fast. That was all it was. That should have happened released. at WrestleMania. That's just an easy WrestleMania match. Maybe, but WrestleMania's gotten broken down to like a five hour show these days, and I, they still having issues bringing everyone in because they're still having issues giving everyone their WrestleMania paycheck. That's why they came up with the freaking Battle Royal. When I met Goldus a few years ago at uh, Ocala Comic Con, mm-hmm. I asked him what his dream match was. He's like, I want to wrestle my brother. I think it'd be incredible. So it was like years ago. Right, <laughs> this right. is his idea. Dude, Goldus is aged like fine wine, dude. I can't believe. I, I hope, I he, hope he comes age. back and he kicks ass like he did when he had Terry Ronald's by his side. 
I, you I, used to wrestle all men Johnson on well, the back I'm of the glad day. Oh my, all men Johnson. Oh my. I we did have Star Wars. Oh, son. <laughs> okay. We you you remember that? Okay. You remember that time uh, I saw this thing on YouTube, freaking I was talking about Goat Dust actually tried to kiss him or something. Yeah. Then he actually kissed him. He went back. He went ape shit on gold. <laughs> That's one son bitch. I would not piss off. You know something? I don't know. I've only watched a couple Odd Man Johnson's matches, but I was a big fan of his because he, he, he was, was like Bobby Lashley before Bobby Lashley. Well, he was my main in WWE Raw's War. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh was boy. Good. Man, what and an I don't old think game. I couldn't watch wrestling at that time. That was my wrestling. Was that video game? Right. Like, all man was good, but he was kind of scary to get in the ring with because he was so damn powerful. Dude. Sure. Like, he'll drop you. It's like, fuck, I still remember you know? a match where, like, for some, I, I think he was supposed to blade or something, and it was oh, in yeah. his wrist tape. It fell out and sliced his hand yeah. to all holy hell. And he oh, was just no. sitting there like this, the whole match, just pouring blood out of his hand. They, they stopped it as they thought they cut a main artery. He's yeah. just like, oh, God. Like, like, <laughs> it, his might skills. Oh, dude, he went to WCW with uh, Booker T's brother. And they tried to start that Harlem Heat again, and he just got big. You know, he lost all his muscle. Then he got he got fired oh, wow. from WCW. Then yeah. he just fell off the map. Yeah, we, I don't know it, it's, be, it's because he kept taking steroids and stopped working out. That's what happened. Oh. He got and he brought up one thing. He got pissed. He really didn't like WWE because you know he was talking about how racist they were and stuff like that. They are and all that. What you know? Hey, I'll like get, come on, that. New Day, New Day. It's literally like, oh, you three are black. Be a tag team. If they would have did... I love the original New Day gimmick. They were like a black church. And yes! I thought it was the greatest thing I was like, how are you getting away world? with that? Yeah, but they're all friends. Like, well, I don't listen. think that's racist. I think that's just... Well, and, and just, just like the Titus brand now with Apollo Crews. Oh, you're black. You're black. Here you go. They might as well just bring back the fucking nation. Seriously. Just bring it back. Shit. Just do the nation of domination all over again. You got you. You might as well. Hey, look at you. Might as well bring the fucking Usos, those gangster looking motherfuckers. You yeah, might as well dude, bring their them new gimmicks are raises of shit too. I think they're so, they're just like Colombian drug bangers. Did we not talk about the Usos starting a new nation? I thought what? we did talk about that. Did I talk about that with my day one is H? <laughs> you talk. Yeah, day one is H. Yeah. By the way, can I say Tyler Breeze and Fandango? Completely beat my expectations at that pay per view. Yeah. I wasn't here for the. I wasn't here for the reaction. Sorry, I know it's probably an old topic, but they impressed the shit out of me. That was my they, daughter's they favorite match. It, they kept it in <laughs> comedic, and it was still a really good wrestling match. Day one is H. Day one is. What did H. they say at SmackDown? They're like, their day one is H was better than ours. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's more H than ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, it, I, come on, dude. That's so we don't good. get it. Brooks. I no, mean, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. Day one is H for us. I mean, we... I, I guess so. Good night. <laughs> so, okay, so now we can get to SmackDown. Um, so, yeah, they, they try to turn in their badges. <laughs> yes. Oh, and to Shane quote. McMahon and Shane's just like, what the? Shane's like, no, uh, get out of my office. Uh, again, this, again, this gimmick has just provided nothing but gold. Yeah. Sweet gold. The best was when they turned in their guns and they were water guns. He's like, you have guns? And he kind of like... <laughs> and he started just squirting people. And the finish of Tyler Breeze and the Uso was fantastic. It, the match lasted like 15 seconds. And it was like, Fandango started spraying him with a water bottle or, or a, a water gun. And then he turned around, rolled him up, one, two, three. End of the match. I was like, yes! Yes, this is awesome! Keep doing this stuff! It's so good, and then like, and then uh, Fandango had a singles match with the Uso, quickly rolled him up too, and then they're like, you know what? Have a tag match for the yeah. tag team titles again. Mm -hmm. And then they lost. And they lost again, but still, it's freaking fantastic, man. Their day one was not H that day. Yeah, it was not H at all. Yeah, H was what, is, what does that day one ish mean? I, I don't know. Ish means shit. I know that much. Yeah, I figured as much. I guess it's like saying that they're that good from day one. I guess is my understanding from it right i, I guess i, I, I like how everyone's looking at brooks i don't look at brooks look at everyone i'm like look at me for it i'm not lying. Lying. i'm looking at you i scan the room motherfuckers well, yeah. they're also samoan so <laughs> i don't think it's a samoan thing. i don't think i've heard the rock say ish ever what the way they doing things it's more of a you know hey i'm in fucking compton bullshit so it is. it's like it is they don't, even wrestle, like, they don't even wear wrestling boots anymore it's they like Thug, thugonometry. 
kind of language. It is. It's, shit, it's like John Cena that. thug thugonomics. Why the fuck did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> shit, fuck John Cena. Anyway, uh, hey, lay off him, man. He do got a nice house though. I give him that. No, lay off. No, his wrestling. And he's just like Goldust. As he's gotten older, it's gotten better. You two are the worst getting off topic. We're talking about SmackDown. That's what we're talking about. Oh, by the way, speaking of, <laughs> Smackdown, speaking of SmackDown and John Cena, they took John Cena off the uh, intro thing. Yeah. He's gone for a while. Yeah. What's wrong with him? Oh, movies and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, I assume just movies, you know, rock got, stuff. Got, got that wedding planning and stuff like yeah. that going on. You know, he's he going to be a busy man. Spin that belt, you know? <laughs> Dude, that would be so <laughs> funny if, like, okay, so, like, John Cena's going to be gone for a while. They're planning their wedding, right? So Nikki disappears. Brie comes back, wrestles as Nikki when Nikki's gone. <laughs> and I Nikki think you just... can tell the difference. Uh, well, the o- yeah, that's literally the only difference. Boots. And that Brie wears kick pads. Oh yeah, but I can't tell the difference. I don't know. I can absolutely tell the difference because, like I said, Brie wears kick pads and uh, one has a boob job and one doesn't. I guess I've watched enough of it w- now that I can tell the difference in their face. I just look up. It's get it's getting there. I guess like I when they first when they first came in when they first came to WWE it was like sure yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah. no I can't tell these bitches You're apart exactly right, yeah. and then they went on ridiculousness in the episode and I was like I can't tell really? them apart either yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And I was like I can't tell them then apart the that library episode on MTV yeah they was on that too they like couldn't tell the difference then I think the dude that was running the show was like fuck I should have gave him name tags <laughs> 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 put the also, camera on Nick ah oh, shit oh, it's uh <laughs> Uh, I know much. one of the Bellas, uh, they must live in Orlando or something. Because John does. No, they live in Tampa. They live in Tampa. Tampa, Tampa yes. yes. Okay, because uh, on the Monsters in the Morning Orlando radio show, they were talking about uh, Runway to Hope, and uh, I guess one of the Bellas were there. So. Bree and Brian live in Arizona. They, no, they I think so. Yeah, I Probably think it's Arizona. It's, it's, or yeah. they, Is it Washington? Uh, uh, Washington's it's where he's from. I thought it was up there, though, wasn't it? Uh, Washington's were. It might be Scottsdale. From, I think Scottsdale so. lives. Yes. That's where they're from originally. Be- uh, Bella's it, it's from it's Scottsdale. It's on Total Bellas, Total Divas, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. but John Cena lives in Lutz. Okay. Over yeah. there. You know. I, I, I'll i give him one thing. You know, he's done a lot over there for that community. Over there at Lutz. Oh, so he's, 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 he's well known. He, he's, he's, he's a well good guy. He good really guy. is. You know, he goes. Like, he ain't that type of guy that, you know, you see him in public and he wants to run away from him. Like, if you, hey, John, he'll come up to you, talk to you, sign all brass tape pictures. You know, so he's... he's Speaking of that, I was watching an interview with Baron... Baron Corbin. Corey Graves. And uh, he was talking about... I don't remember how they got on the... the, 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 Yeah, the conversation. It was on the Sam Roberts podcast. And uh, he was asking him, like, do you mind when fans walk up to you and want to take pictures? Oh, they were talking about NXT shows, how Corey is now retired... And Corey was just hanging out at NXT shows. Yeah. And I saw him at an NXT show just hanging out. And I wanted to go over and like, take a picture with him. But I was like, eh, he might be working. I don't want to bug him. And uh, he was like, I love it when fans come over and take pictures. I'll just be standing there. People will come over and I'll absolutely take pictures with them and have a conversation. I'm just like, God yeah, yeah, you could have you could have talked to him for like 20 minutes. That <laughs> probably could have because he did stand there. You yeah. were there. Yeah, I, I remember. Because I, yeah. like, yeah. I didn't know who he was. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like you know, as a, I, as an indie work wrestler myself, you know, and I'm a little guy. Like I, you know, I don't wrestle on much popular indie feds or nothing. I, I'm a little guy, and any sort of fan appreciation is more than. You know, it, it makes your day. And I have these two little girls that literally come see me and take pictures of me every watch show. That makes you feel good. Every watch show. And they're the same ones, but they make me, yeah. God, they make me feel good. They make you feel good. They yeah. make, they Especially make as a bad guy. That's it. I'm a yeah. bad guy. I'm a heel. I'm an absolute heel. Probably the biggest heel in what? And they still want to come take pictures with me. That's it. And yeah. it's like, you know what? I'm glad you guys get it. I'm glad you're not, <laughs> like, terrified of me. You just want to take... And you know what? After the bell rings, a lot of people want to live the gimmick and they want to stay a heel after the bell rings. Forget that. Forget that. Like, you know, if these fans come up to you, heel or face, you give them something. Give them something to remember you by. If they think you're legitimately a bad guy, they may not want to watch anymore. Mm-hmm. These are like, oh, it's well, true. okay, well, I, I, don't, I didn't like that at all. You know what? Screw this. I'm done with this. And then never watch it again. And then the wrestling business doesn't thrive that way. You're exactly right. So yeah, I was a... Uh, the, just the handful of shows that we did, I was at um, a school function, 
uh, for one of my siblings. I think it was my brother's chorus concert or something when he was in like elementary school and uh, elementary middle, something like that. And I'm standing there, you know, it's after all the parents are getting up, getting their kids and leaving. And I had these two little kids come up to me. Uh, I don't know who these kids are. And uh, they're like, aren't you, aren't you Pariah? Aren't you that wrestler guy? And I was like, yes, yes I am. Thank you. Yes, I am. And uh, they didn't want a picture or anything, but the one kid was like, see, I told you. And they <laughs> ran off. I was like, oh, that was pretty damn cool. Your huh. 15 seconds of fame. Yeah. yeah. Right there. They make you feel good, right? Yeah. That's, that's yeah. why I love this stuff, man. You yeah. impacting people's lives and you ain't realize it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Absolutely. It's just all about how, like, giving these fans a good time. That's it. Reason to come back. Yeah. You know? And it, like I said, you know, I, I, in the next couple of months, I have a, a crap ton of more bookings, and I've been trying so hard to get more. And, um, it, like, I've already talked about maybe grabbing some t shirts on the way in or, or something. Even if it's the other wrestlers' t shirts, I might buy one. Like, if it, it, like, me as a bad guy, if I. Say I had a random tag match, right? Like a super random tag match, and I didn't have my own merch. I'd wear my partner's merch. Yeah. I'll buy it. the shirt. I'll give them the money, whatever. Wear my partner's merch, and then like, oh, they have T-shirts, and then maybe help my partner out. Like that's just how this works. That's why there's to my guys. The reason why we try to stick with our roster as much as possible is because not a lot of us have an ego. All of us feel the same way I do. Um, that's why when we train people, we don't charge them a you know we don't charge them out the booty to train them like we you know we just wrestling again won't work that way because like they'll be like oh it's twenty thousand dollars a year to train oh well i'm not doing that and yeah then, i never let it. that stop me. and some of the best athletes some of the <laughs> best athletes in wrestling ever could have just walked away because it was too pricey yeah and so that's why we don't do it that way you know we're i'm just i know that good. happens a lot be from the way that our school ran, so many people turned away because oh, of the price. Yeah, I, I guess I just, he told me the price and I just never paid and never listened. I just couldn't show up. That's what <laughs> e- literally everyone else did. I ain't pay shit. Amen, man. I hey, I, hey shit. I got trained with my hard earned labor. Yeah. Like for me, I just helped set up rings and then they said, all right, we'll train you for free. And then help set up the ring. I, like, I yeah. tried to do because I was trying to help them with computers and, and stuff like that. And it just never, every time I go over there, it'd be like, Okay, I want to help you with this now. You'd be like, but well, another time. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go fucking train then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, I literally lived there. Yeah. So I opened and cleaned closed. and closed. And you know, I, I came down after work and hung there for a couple hours. And, you know, that, that 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 time, it was, you know, it was freaking awesome, man. Yeah, it was. You know, we could, anytime we want, we could go in there and we could, we could just do bumps and pretend storylines and go up there and just have fun with it. <laughs> And the shit like that. And then we invite some friends over and also, oh shit, we got a show coming up. Yeah. You know, and we do the show and it's like, we had that first show we had, we had a lot of people in there. Yeah, all for, the shows we the, did there. For the little, little space we had, we had a lot of people in there, you know. And just, uh, yeah, it's a little building. Wow, hairdressing store, you know. Right by the fucking Greyhound, over by KFC. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh, well, did you have Jinder Mahal as champion? <laughs> Which gets us back on topic, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, so I didn't know it was off topic. I, I'm sorry, I didn't watch SmackDown, so I don't know what happened. So. Which can I? All right, so I I've already displaced my disclosure for my dislike that he's champion. Um, but here's the problem: is that okay? So I I heard the best point ever, and that's you know, love it or hate it, you're talking about it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that makes yeah. complete sense. It does. That goes back to the whole thing that, like, I used to hate the finger poke of doom back in the WCW days. Oh, of course. But Kevin Nash will say in every shoot interview, he's like, you still talk about it. And I was like, oh, fuck you, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it also burned that company to the ground. It's a little different. I don't think yeah, that did. Well, I think it, 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 was, it was losing, more. They started losing look, ratings. Though. It was more than that. You know, it's look at, like, during the years of WCW, the top wrestlers of the Jericho's and the Guerrero's and all them, they just left because the bullshit in the back. Yeah. Politics and stuff killed it. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. watching the DVDs That's and stuff. They, they had they had a they contract was they could do anything they want in their contract. Mm-hmm. Like if you didn't want to get pinned by that guy, fuck it. You ain't had to get pinned. Yeah. You can't do nothing about it. It's in the contract. 
That's yeah. what killed WCW. And that, that's a whole topic for another podcast we could do. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. All right, so, true. all right, so you've just brought up, Jake has just brought up the uh, the, ladder, the Money in the Bank ladder match participants uh, promo yeah. from SmackDown. All right, so everyone, all right, I love Nakamura as much as everybody else. I, he's like a five star match machine. Mm-hmm. However, how come I just can't see him? Like, it's awkward for me to to picture him in a ladder match. Is, am I the only one that's like? Has he ever the, been in one? I don't think so. New and Japan I doesn't do gimmick and, yeah, matches. Yeah, and I, and like it's kind of weird. Like I don't know how he's actually gonna do. You like, look at the place match. anyway right now. <laughs> He kind of does, you know. Can I just point out how fucking short AJ Styles is? Yeah. Holy well, shit. You, 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 would, you would think he's super short, but he's like 5'11". I'm 5'7". You okay. would imagine if I was standing in that freaking ring. I know Shinsuke is <laughs> tall. Shinsuke is very tall. Baron Corbin's 6'8". Baron Corbin yeah. was a former NFL player, so yeah. you know he's he, he, he was six eight. So we've three, we've eight. seen Baron Corbin fly. Yes, and he's we tall. have pictures with him. Yeah, oh no, yeah, that's he, right. He's, he's a very I large look up to human. him, and I don't look up. He's to a people. very very large. I looked up to a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> he's a very large human. Fucking. Um, I love this segment though, because it was like, all right, here's the Money in the Bank guys. And Kevin Owens comes out, he's like, hey, hey. <laughs> I, I hate that too. though. I am. I listen. I love Kevin Owens so much, and he's awesome in ladder matches as. You know, one of the best of matches course. ever yeah. was yeah. El Generico and Kevin Steen in Ring of Honor yeah. how, uh, as a ladder match. Which is a little and bit. Here's the only issue: he's the U.S. champion. You just wasted a booking. You're he, he, you, you diminished the importance of the title by putting him in another match. But you can make this match longer by not having a U.S. championship match, and it elevates the, the importance of this match because you have a champion in it. But like like I said, for me it's just like I I look at it and I'm like, man, the U.S. title should always be a booking for me at least. It should always be a booking because they're trying to make the U.S. title and the Intercontinental title feel more important. They've been working on that for years now. Yeah. But then they do something like this, and that completely diminishes it altogether. I think then he doesn't. No one fights for it, and then it's just, yeah. I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I can see what you're talking he about. is the type of guy you kind of need in a ladder match, though. I mean. The latter match is just five of them would have been fine without Kevin, though. No? Corbin's the only real heel to hear. No, Ziggler. Ziggler's true no. heel right now. No, it doesn't oh. matter. He's not a heel. The people fucking love him. I I love Baron Corbin, too. The I love, love Baron, Baron Corbin, Corbin but he is, no, he's pretty hated. Um, you know, and when it comes to any of these guys right now, it's really hard to be a heel heel where everyone hates you. There's only, like, two of those. Right. That's, like, Jinder and the Miz. Miz. Yeah. Like and everyone else, it's like, oh, you're a heel, but you're we still love you cool. anyway. Yeah, but I think Corbin yeah. and Kevin Owens are like that. Yeah, like I don't know, man. Like I know a lot of uh, novice wrestling fans really don't like Kevin. They but really don't. A grand majority of this audience is novice wrestling fans. It's true. That's why you need a Kevin Owens, and I mean, even Ziggler is. A face to a lot of these casual wrestling fans. Yeah, and that uh, that magazine we were talking about earlier, Kevin oh, Owens right. was number one most hated wrestler, wasn't he? Number yeah, one or number was, two? Yeah, he was very. No, Roman Reigns was number oh, one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but and Kevin, Kevin was number two. Well, yeah, yeah we get that. Oh, yeah, number yeah. two. Well, obviously that's the way he's booked, but still. Yeah. Like, you know. It, but yeah, I don't. I don't even know who else from SmackDown you would put in this. Well, if he was healthy, Zack Ryder. If he was healthy. Um, yeah. Right? Dude, absolutely put Zack Ryder I, in it. But I'm... He, he's like Shelton... And that's another one. Shelton Benjamin, if he's healthy. Oh, my He's still goodness. under contract. He really... I, if Shelton Benjamin was Wait, here he, right now, mm-hmm. he would be... He, uh, yes. Sh- that, oh, my God, man. Dude, oh, could you imagine... I can't even talk about it, dude. Uh, dude <laughs> Shelton, when he oh. comes back, is going to be one of the... Like, dude, AJ Styles versus Sh- Shelton Benjamin... Yeah. Can you imagine those guys going for 25 minutes? I will. Oh, my God. Woo! It'll be so good. Like, I, that would I be cannot phenomenal. wait. I can... That would be phenomenal. Nice. You like that? <laughs> I see what you're doing there. What? But let me... Is this... This ladder of money in the bank right here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this... Who you think they're trying to get the, the push on? Shinsuke. It's absolutely Shinsuke. There's no doubt in my mind. I kind of want to see Baron Corbin. Yup, yeah, I think it's Corbin. I think it's Corbin. I don't think. Well, it's I'm really thinking our predictions right now. I think it almost has to be a. Heel. Hey, we can we can go we can go cold hard for predictions right now. I call I'm Shinsuke. I'm calling Baron. 
Because AJ's never going to be out of the title picture completely. I agree with you. Ever, everyone yeah. agree with me he's, on that? He's the new I agree with you. Yeah. Right. Okay, so... There's Tommy, a rumor, though, that Shinsuke is the new John Cena. But WrestleMania, they're, they're ha- they have to be working toward AJ versus Nakamura. And they're going to work toward that for Mania. One of them has to be champ. And who versus who? Nakamura versus Styles, man. I thought, for some reason, I thought you said Shinsuke versus Nakamura. Oh, no. I don't Shins- know why I, I heard I, that. I, I might have. Check the tape. <laughs> but I might have. But no, Styles versus Nakamura... At WrestleMania to be another five star match like they did in New Japan, and I I can guarantee you that's what's going to be the case. That match was glorious. I, who do you oh got boy, winning, that. who do you got winning this? Shinsuke, for sure. Uh oh, I have to guess now. I'm going with Owens. Really? I could see him being double champion. Oh, they be... did it. They did it with Rollins, right? So with God, the same that championship. Would be good. It would be great. It would be great. The, be great. the face I, of America and then the face of what is their Oh, title? he keeps saying that if but, he wants to be the face of the WWE. But Vince yeah. hates him. Supposedly. Supposedly, but... I take he, everything the dirt sheets say with a grain of salt. I'll see. I mean, because Kevin Owens is definitely a Triple H guy. I feel like Vince can't hate him because of how well he sells merchandise. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. People love him and hate him. That's money. I mean, you're sitting here yeah. wearing a Kevin Owens shirt right now. Ooh. You're not, but they, <laughs> they would have never known if you didn't play yeah. along with it's it. That's true. You should have told him. I'm uh, wearing. I'm, I'm wearing one. Yeah. Uh, if he was who? Kylo Ren, <laughs> close enough. He plays Kylo Ren. I'm convinced. You know, as I'm sit, I, I'll say Baron Corbin, but I'm looking at it. I kind of feel I'm going with Baron Corbin. Okay. okay, but I kind of so feel like Nakamura to Corbin. No, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I kind of got a feel with Sami Zayn. Dude, if they God. give Sami the title, they do not understand the reaction they're gonna get. If Sami Zayn wins a WWE main title, the crowd will lose their minds. That's who I want to win. I don't. A hundred percent with you. I'm a hundred percent with you. That's who I want. I, I, okay. I want. I want Corbin to win, but I got a feeling Sami gonna do something. No. This is, I feel like one day we're going to get, Kevin Owens is going to be pushed to the moon. That's when Sammy is going to get pushed. Yeah. I and it's so. going to be a feud between them two and it's going to put Sammy over. Well, that's an automatic over. five-star match, dude. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like they're just Same thing with Nakamura and Styles. That's why I feel like that's what's going to happen. Kevin's already like two, three steps ahead of Sammy. That, that's just a fact. So push him up two, three more steps and then he's going to pull Sammy with him. And yeah. then... Bam, both of them just... I mean, Sammy's already a huge star, but he's just going to pull him up. Because right now, he's just tease bait right now. Can he's, he's, he's Zack Ryder all over again. Because I agree. Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, hear me he's out. He's Daniel he, Bryan all over I, again. I, I don't see Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan, I saw actually winning the championship. I can see Sammy Zayn being the Zack Ryder guy where they always tease he's going to win money to make. Like, he's always the last guy on the ladder before the next guy wins it. Always. They always did that with Ryder. I feel like they're going to keep doing it with Zayn. They did it at the Memorial. He's the motherfucker Royal. that gets thrown over the rope at Royal Rumble at the, after, like, the fourth guy goes in. Yeah, yeah. like, and it Which sucks. sucks. It, it really does. He's just, he's one of the best in the world right now. I, yeah. I, I would take him over most guys. So, let's let's just say it's Kevin Owens versus, it's not going to happen with Jinder Mahal. Kevin yeah. Owens versus... Can he let's, just give him the band package pile driver and end him, please? Yeah, right? <laughs> Kevin Owens versus, let's say, a Randy Orton or maybe a returning Batista or John Cena. God, please don't say Batista. At, at WrestleMania, <laughs> and Sami Zayn cashes in the Money in the Bank, and the end of WrestleMania is Sami Zayn with dude, the belt. I can, dude, could you imagine? God! Could you imagine if Sami like if God, Sammy, no like cashed it in on Lesnar and just changed brands just cause? Like, and he just, and he pinned Lesnar? <laughs> Dude, here's the problem. Ah! Here's the problem with that. Lesnar then calls in his rematch. Can Sammy beat Lesnar? No, absolutely not. Okay. No, that's why, that's no. why, that's it, why it, that won't happen. No, absolutely. It would be the, <clears throat> it would be one of the, the most bone-chilling WrestleMania experiences ever, but it wouldn't last long. But It'd Sammy's like NXT Bryant. title reign didn't last long either. Yeah. Sammy won the title. Kevin came in, stole it from him. That made sense, though, because that was a feud with the two of them. Right. But it, which is still ongoing. It's pretty much John Cena and Orton where they just always yes. hate each other, but they're not always in a feud. I also think we eventually need them as a tag team. Hell yeah. Dude, they would <laughs> rule the tag team planet. Like, yeah, I agree. And by the way, like we, I know we skipped Raw already, but God, I love Sheamus and Cesaro's new thing so much. Don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started so about much. that. Good or bad? 
Y'all know how I feel about Cesaro. And we have to go back to Raw, by the way. But go ahead. Y'all know how I feel about Cesaro. You don't mm-hmm. like Cesaro. So, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. I was going to say, I was about to say, I'll set you on fire. God. I set myself on fire if I say that. <laughs> Cesaro <laughs> is my guy. I've been with him since day one. Yep, Did you same here. Him? I'm, same here. I'm just loving the audio spikes. So FIP. You know, really. FIP. You know, I'm actually not talking to you this time. I'm talking to It's like. like Claudio! When Bruce has met a lot of guys. When. Cats Genioli. When it was like, I, and I said this story plenty of times when I met Seamus and all them, but I saw Cesaro and I'm, I'm just looking at him. It's like, holy shit. You know, it's like, this guy is built to be a champion. Yes. Then you watch him perform in the ring and it's like, holy shit. He deserves to be as a champion. As Christmas can be, that guy. And it's like, they didn't want you to push. The fucking Jinder Mahal got a belt before he did. That's bullshit. Yeah, but you know the reason behind Jinder Mahal's push. Fuck Jinder. You? you know what? Hey, so let me show you. It's because they expanded, expanded into India and they needed an Indian face. Well, it. they didn't expand it to fucking Switzerland, yeah. man. Well, I think it's already there. I think it's already there. That's the problem. But, you know, like, no. No, listen. I'm 100% with you. Cesaro... They need. I thought they were going to break them up. I swore they were going to break them up. I thought they did too. I love point. that tag team, though. I want them to stay a tag they're, team. They're for a good a while. tag team. I just want him to get what he deserved. I feel like they, he need, they need to stay a tag team for a while. Uh, well, the only problem is, is that I feel like they're trying to stick Cesaro in a tag team either way. I remember he was with Tyson Kidd for a while. Before he got hurt, yeah. Which is great. Which I love Tyson Kidd. They did do a good job. I, I do. I, I. But it's just the problem is that I don't want him to stick. I don't want him to be stuck in tag team wrestling. Wait, what, why do you think they're doing that to him? God, I, I don't know. I, I sometimes Vince gets his rocks off to sticking it to the indie fans. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. I think it's partially because he's not very good on the mic. I was about to ask how good is is he on the mic? He ain't that really good, but it's like give him a manager. Yeah, I was about to say give him a manager. He had Paul Heyman at one point. I yeah. say, have you heard Brock you Lesnar know? try to talk? No, you haven't, because Paul Heyman does. And then when he does talk, fuck you. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, Paul. Tell him. <laughs> Paul, Paul, tell him to fuck it, off. It, it's more like, hey, Paul, tell him, because his voice is all light. How big he yeah. is, and all the roids he takes. His voice is all high pitched. And Sable shit. poking him in the ass. <laughs> Marco, my own mother. Anyway, it's like, oh, I don't know. It's just Cesaro, man. It's just. I think it's they put him with a tag team because they need both Sheamus and Cesaro on TV still. They don't need anybody for singles. They do need people for tag teams. So put them in a tag team and keep them on TV. If they keep doing what they're doing, which is good things, mm-hmm. I think to a point they're going to try to split them up. Sure. Well, they did the best of seven series for the game tag team, and it was fantastic. Was, Every yeah, time. Right, I said it on right. the last podcast I was on, I think, as Sheamus and Cesaro beat the holy hell out of each other. Right. Every time they work. Yeah, exactly and right. I don't know if it's because they legitimately hate each other or if they're that close of best friends. To where they beat the ever living crap out of each other they, every time they wrestle. They're good. Re- Sheamus is a he's a fucking pounder man. He's an old school fighter. Yeah. And, so is Cesaro. Cesaro's, Cesaro's the same way. You know? They travel so, together now, yeah. so they can't yeah. eat each other. Yeah. Well, you never know. <laughs> All right, let's let me see. And then we we'll go to Raw. If Cesaro went to SmackDown, will he be a part of uh, Money in the Bank? No. No. You don't think so? Think Wait, Cesaro. right now, it's full right now. If, if they just starting to find people, if it wasn't for right now, no, they'd be stuck in the tag teams, man. Because yeah, but, 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 no, hey, uh, Sheamus stayed on Raw. Cesaro went to SmackDown. Oh, well, I absolutely would be there. Okay. Would, I don't know. Who do you, or, who do you or, kick out? or they would do a singles between Owens and him for the U.S. title. That would they, be nice. They, uh, yeah, that would be nice. I would rather see the same guys in there now take out Dolph Ziggler, but uh, Cesaro right now. Yeah. Cesaro in the ladder dude, match, he's fucking dude, good. It's so hard to take Ziggler out, though, man. Yeah. Bro, but Cesaro in the Money in the Bank is fucking phenomenal. Take out Nakamura, because Nakamura doesn't fit. I think, uh, I think Nakamura's going to No, 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 give me that look, yeah. No, he's I, I do. I, I do think, agree with that. Listen, I love Nakamura as much as the next is. person. But I think in the ladder match, he might be a little awkward. I think he just got And his moveset really can, doesn't can you, fit ladders. And when is he going to cash that style. He doesn't. It doesn't fit ladder matches. And how would he cash it in? Anyone who cashes it in, it needs to be a heel or an underdog. And he is not. Is, is he going to cash it in on gender? He's like, over as fuck. <laughs> like, everyone fucking loves him. Like, like what, what he, dude, everyone knows if he wins, he's going to cash in and just Kinshasa the person. It's not going to be a feud out of it. 
nothing. He's just yeah. going to come in, and he's going to knee them directly in the face. Which, by the way, speaking of this week's SmackDown, the knee, he, the Kinshasa he gave Kevin Owens on Tuesday was brutal. Yeah. It, like, you know, sometimes it's gimmicked where his shin kind of just goes under the chin and he throws him away. Like, he literally threw his knee into his jawbone, and I watched it in slow motion on my TV, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> fuck that. <clears throat> yeah, like, I can't even see him cashing it in. Like, I can't picture that in I my can. mind. I can see him, like, cashing it in and then doing the rope bend thing and then getting shots with someone right as he gets up. I'm kind of curious to see how he's going to do in the ladder uh, match. That's yeah. exactly it. That's yeah, why I, I want to see how he do it. You but, never know. He might, he might end up not but doing it. Out, of, might but out of those people, I would, take out, I would take out Nakamura. Out of those people. But yeah, because he just doesn't really fit. But at the same time, apply your whole Lesnar thing. Shinsuke clashes on Lesnar. Because yeah. then Shinsuke could beat Lesnar to rematch. Oh, oh, I'm, tell, I'm telling you. Hold on, hold on. I'm oh, telling you. Oh, we're, we're, sh- we're watching the Kinshasa. I think this is a Ron Simmons moment right here, boys. Damn! <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, dude, it was so brutal. The knee just... You can see Kevin's know. head just... You know what Bounce Kevin said? Right away. Kevin said, fuck. <laughs> like, you can see him selling. You can see him selling. Watching the camera keeps going. Like, watch. As he's pinning him. Like... <laughs> He, the camera will go closer to his face, like, oh, He's like, oh, you think when Shinsuke, oh, God. When Shinsuke pinned him, he was like, asshole. Yeah, he's like, son of a bitch. You know what? I want to see oh. how he, I would like to see how he do now. I, it gets after, worse after, every time. After Dang. watching this, I would like to see him do it after fucking ladder. Yeah. No, 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 no. Then you get Sid Vicious. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. No <laughs> boots, no kicks off ladders, no kicks off ropes. <laughs> unless you're back bumping it. Yeah. No. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> I give you that. My, my apologies. Here, I'm just going to keep replaying it. He, <laughs> can, he can front bump off that. Oh. Really? No. <laughs> they got they got a good dental plan. <laughs> sure hope so. He got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> dental <Damn>. plan. <laughs> He's going to need, like, a, that's what happened to Austin Aries. He gave him that move, and Austin Aries' eyeball almost came out of his head. Can I just point he had to get else? orbital surgery it's or whatever. Bad motherfucker. Speaking of Austin Aries, do you guys ever watch... Or talk about 205 Live at all. Yeah. This week was a momentous week. I didn't Cedric watch Alexander came back. I just saw that. I gotta watch it. I don't... I love 205. Okay. Well, so, I mean, I and listen, I and you know what happens man. when someone comes back with a big name. He squashed yeah. somebody. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. But, like, yeah. God, I want him to get the Cruiserweight title so bad. I want him to get the Cruiserweight title so bad, it hurts. Before that, we I, get too far away from this Kinshasa thing. Oh, God. Yes. I just want to point out, I love when WWE does their slow motion thing on YouTube now. I went here but expecting that. Do you see what the slow motion was? Mm. No. Middle left. Okay, yeah. Relive Jinder Mahal's Punjabi celebration in slow motion. Oh, thank God. <laughs> can we please hey, watch wait, that? Can, can, I, can I be honest with something, though? <laughs> Out of all of the title celebrations, that one was pretty dope. I they're, gotta be honest. They're doing a good job with it. I gotta be honest. Even though I don't like Jinder Mahal either, bro. I don't. I ain't got no problem with it. It's like, I don't, why? But the celebration was that actually Cena? pretty yeah, that's, There's dope. where Cena's going. It was pretty dope. Man, and and like, I was in here and try- I won a title, that's exactly how I was. What are you trying to be like, fucking like Stone Cold or Broken Ranch? Looks like it. Probably. Look at this shit, man. Like, what are you, fucking and Prince Ali and fucking Aladdin? Oh, <laughs> Yep, I didn't even see this. Oh, oh God, the Bollywood boys. Oh, uh, so while this plays, the Look thing we dude. forgot to talk about from Raw was that Paul Heyman has said that he wants Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. Bro, can I, all right. So I know that they they give Finn Balor the demon gimmick, right? And they make him like all more powerful when he wears the demon, right? I, I mm-hmm. just don't see that working against Lesnar. He's going to he, he end up getting another concussion like he did from Gender. Yeah. From from an unsafe elbow from hell. It was awful. Or he going up like Randy Orton with a gash in his fucking forehead. And as Jake is doing the Indian dance <laughs> so racistly. Uh, no. Look at it, look at this That's shit, That's cultural man. appropriation, sir. <laughs> you cannot do that. <laughs> that's that's right. another Maharaja. You know, I, like I said, I ain't got no problem with gender. Dude. You know, it just... I can't, I can't. You don't have a problem with the way he talks? Dude, you don't have a problem with his awful. skin color. Oh, oh, you don't I, have I, a problem with his money. Do you want me to talk about the skin tone? <laughs> I was I was telling Jacob earlier. I just want for some those dude. that don't know, 
Coach is black. <laughs> That's why you said that. If uh, <laughs> I was telling Jacob earlier, I want someone to have that same exact gimmick, but just some like generic ass white guy. Because gender well, doesn't kind, have... That's kind of what Neville's doing, in a way. Like, you hate the way I talk, because I'm British. <laughs> well, I do hate that. I hate it more than anything in the fucking world. You don't like British accents? Oh, oh I hate my them. goodness. So, oh, yes, I was gonna, I meant to bring this up. Oh. When Randy Orton burned down the Taj Mahal. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, by the way, for those that don't know, I... I so, the, the what show that I, you know, that I was part of, uh, it ended badly... And one of our wrestlers got hurt on a dive. It happens. Wrestling sucks. Um, however, <laughs> no, 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 stop. Let, let's we'll get to that later. Well, I know, but it, it's part of the Randy Orton thing. Okay. Someone edited. <sighs> oh no. Someone edited Randy Orton giving him an RKO out of nowhere. No. Oh yeah, and no. it's a thing. Yeah. Wait, oh, oh, on the dive. <laughs> You guys released video of it? Uh, yeah, we have the, we have the <laughs> clip. It's, it's only in the locker room. But okay. we edit. But Damn. my old tag partner <laughs> That's real. edited our Randy Orton giving him the RKO out of nowhere on the dive. I don't, hey, I don't mean to laugh. Man. Which is why that that was t- okay. tied into this. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. No, listen. It was hilarious. Even have Mason said it was it? hilarious. That's wrong. Have they seen it? Oh yeah, he, 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 it? it was his idea. He said, okay. "Someone please oh, okay. do oh, that." Right. Okay. He said, right. "Someone please do that." And then he oh. then. My ex tag partner did, and he said, "Thank you, my life is complete." I freaking love Randy Orton, dude. It's <laughs> so, like... I gotta point out something though, Brian. You were right on the money, I, as I usually am. Bang bang. bang. Uh, oh yeah, Jinder Mahal is Canadian. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's not even. You he was, know that? No, I knew he was Canadian. Oh, he's of yeah, Indian descent, that. though. Yeah, but yeah. He got a badass and fucking And he legit tan. speaks Punjabi. Because he so, woke up in Nubiagi. Yeah, but his does his accent's really not that thick, right? No, I don't think it is. He just puts it on the ain't that. Yeah, no, he pushes it on it. Yeah, so like the way he talks, I hate Neville's accent more than I fucking hate. I can't even understand. Let's talk about Mike. Oh lord. (laughs) Who? I I watch. I I watch enough. British people that I, I can pick up a British I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch, was you watch Achievement Hunter, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know if we were allowed to, <laughs> to say their names on yeah, here. Yeah, why not? But yeah, no, I watch way too much Gavin, uh, yeah. but now I, I absolutely just pick up British accents now. I just hope... Drink some water. I just hope uh, Pete Dunn keeps his fucking mouth shut because I love watching him wrestle. <laughs> and, he is, and he is the ugliest motherfucker. He knows I, mean, I don't know, are. Neville's pretty... Ugly. Hey, that bitch can fly away. <laughs> and then has anyone ugly. else noticed that um, I don't uh, know the names. Pete Dunn had a uh, oh. <laughs> he had one gauge, like he doesn't wear it in now, but he just had one gauge in one ear, like in like some of the promo stuff you see it, and I'm like he's got one gauge, and then like during the match I rewatched it. I see like, his yeah, loop sure. just swinging a lot. Sure enough, yeah, just one day. <laughs> just swinging side. in the wind. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, that's so weird. He's so fucking weird. But he's so good. Yeah. He's uh, a beast. A bruiser anyway. weight. He is a bruiser weight. No, yes. Do you, I know, okay, so we're done with Raw SmackDown, right? Okay, yeah. Do you oh, want to talk about the dive thing? Me and him talked about it last week. I want to hear it. Yeah. I want to hear a part of it. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Um, Do you know what it is, Brooks? Not the one on the show, but... The, the oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, Randy no. Orton, okay, Randy Orton posted a tweet, right? You can probably find it on Google very easily. About the uh, indie stuff? Yes. I saw, actually, I saw that tweet in that girl. Now, here's here's the problem, right? The re- he he was <laughs> lashing back. He was getting, he was getting uh, shit said to him first. Right. Which is, okay, whatever. Um, And he was standing up for himself, which I get. My problem with his comments is, I- I'm not going to hate Randy Orton for this. Randy Orton's one of the best. All right, end of story. And some indie matches do fucking end up the same. A they lot. Do. They do. However, him saying, oh, well, you go ahead and do that in your armories of 20 people mm-hmm. while I won my 14th championship or whatever, you know how nice it would be to be 6'6 and be a third-generation superstar? I might have 14 world titles, too. Yeah, you just walk right in that shit. Guys like me, I'm 5'7. I'm an indie worker. I have to do flips. I have to do that shit because I'm small. If I'm going to wrestle any three of you on the couch right now, the only realistic way I get any offense is to flip on you. Sure. That's right. it. And so it's kind of hard. That's why his his comments are a double-edged sword for me. 
Because for me as an indie worker, I do a lot of flips on the people, and that's only because I'm short. That's the only thing I got, realistically. And if they want to talk about being realistic and the indie, you know, the indie people aren't. Rene Dupree. Did you guys see what uh, Rene Dupree said about it? Oh, I can only imagine. Uh, Randy, everything was handed to you. From your nicknames to your finishing move, people can say that. It's true. Uh, people can say the same about me, but when you were hired, you were a fat slob. I just won the Canadian Bodybuilding Nationals and qualified for the. For the worlds, you have had zero matches. He's an asshole. Wow. I had 500 plus. That, that's you wouldn't brutal. last one Japanese tour, and I'm on 49 tours. And you counting if triple, you counting if Triple H wasn't such a mark for your daddy, you would have been fired years ago. And you're nowhere near the worker your father was. Ooh. You're bashing indie guys. Do what I did. Grow yourself a set of balls, and prove you're special. Cause I'm sorry, bud, but a chi- but the chin lock you use is boring as shit. Burning britches. I don't give a shit. Hashtag true. And we just saw Rene Dupree in the WCPW Canadian yeah. World Cup uh, finals, and uh, qualifiers. It, yeah, qualifiers. 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 And. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's ripped as fuck. He's probably... Oh, yeah, Dupree is... That's good. Old school, yeah. Yeah. big yeah. looks. Like, you know, he's... This is my problem with that. That's bullshit, because Randy has earned what he's got. That's a bunch of bullshit. Just because he didn't have to go through the indie circuit does not make him an automatic... No. Hold on. Does not make him an automatic top guy. Does not make it so he sells merch like none fucking other... Does not make it to where he does have great matches. He is a top guy in WWE, not because of his daddy, but because of his work ethic and how good he is. Yeah, but again, like I said, for me, like when he when he says stick to your your uh, some sure. some guys yes. don't have the seeds planted. He, right. he and it seems like he takes that for granted. But the, what Rene Dupree was talking about. Now you said he's earned it and everything. And yeah. I, I don't I don't like Orton and I think it's just because I'm not supposed to which makes that, him a that, good heel. That I disagree with. But I do like Orton. Um, I think it's just because I'm not supposed to. That means he's just a really good yes. heel. Yes. So um, but he's but, now. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dupree. Everything Dupree said was for about his beginnings, and he, he may have had it a quite a bit easier in the beginning than someone like Dupree had. And I don't like Dupree either. I think he's a ass from what I can tell but yes <laughs> so but maybe yeah in the beginning I'm sure it is easier for someone who has a legacy and it's up to them to you know carry that on and I know in the beginning from what stuff of you know stuff I've read before apparently Orton was not that good of a person a person <laughs> yeah outside of the ring no like, he absolutely is not he would trash hotel rooms and stuff oh yeah yeah and I, I think he yeah. got his shit together and I think that's he, when I got I got I got I saw this thing on the network excuse me in the room yep he got a new wife oh is that what it was yeah, he got a new he, wife yeah, and, he, and that lady's like yeah, hardcore yeah he got that new broad now she's like hardcore get your shit right Oh, okay. so he changed his whole life around. I like, know some people like you know, that. Like I said, I'm like I said, I'm I'm a double edged sword with it. I think there's good and bad to his comments. Same there is I some sure. stuff that he takes for granted, which is you know having there's, that seed planted before he was even born. Yeah, that that's always you know that's always nice. I'm, there's I'm, truth um, in there. You know, but like yeah, with no, me, it's like there's some truth in what he's saying. You got you got some wrestlers that got their seed planted, and if you look at the history of the WWE. Wrestlers that's like second or third generation. Once they start wrestling in the main roster, they automatically end up calling them champion. Look, Natalia's still around. <laughs> that is because Natalia was great. Whoa, when it whoa, was whoa, the... wait! Natalia is fantastic. How dare so. you? I don't know. How you know what with her? Dare you? She deserves to hold a title she... seat. Up top. All the way. <laughs> High five loud enough for the podcast to hear it. That woman deserves everything. You even look on Total Divas. The Divas run to her. I don't even... Me and Emma are... Divas run watch. to her. She, her, her, she is her like house. Oprah in a talk show industry. What does she's, that mean? She's a bad bitch. <laughs> she, no, she is the she's leader. Oprah. Dude, she is she's the leader of the Divas cars. right now. She's giving... 
iPods. She's giving oh, she whales. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck you gonna get a whale, first of all? Second of all, if she giving cars, I'm going to that bitch house right now. <laughs> Bro, right. no, seriously. She is so good. She's always been good. She's Randy Why Orton good. Why is she bad the... now? She's not bad now. She is. She's she getting one old. match that was bad. <laughs> except for with Carmella, because Carmella is awful. Every, I have not liked a match I've seen her in. Dude, yeah. I love everything she does. She She's needs... been there for, I think, the uh, longest dude, out of I, all dude, of them. She, needs, she, she, needs she deserves something. She, she was title. good when it was her versus all of the... When it was diva wrestling. Now yes. it's the women's wrestling. Dude, I'm telling you right now. But you if get, it wasn't you, for her, her, then Divas wouldn't be them. Her, her, versus true, be yeah. them. her versus Charlotte. Give them 20 minutes. I swear to God, it would be amazing. I guess I just I'm I'm telling you, it's it. fantastic. She, she deserves something. I like my mind to Because the, girl, so. the girls, I'm sorry, women. The women that's there now, she helped get there. We're very PC on the show, so please. Fuck, fuck, fuck no, shit. <laughs> fuck, fuck shit. Fuck those limey ass bastards in Britain, too. Oh, yeah, anyway. Fuckers, don't you? All right, what's the problem with Britain? I fucking hate that, that that's another topic for a whole other show. I think, I, know, right? I, think I, I think I bring it up on every show. Speaking of having a problem with people, I have a problem with the wrestler now. You don't really grinds my gears. <laughs> Mine? <laughs> what is that? Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, it was all family guy. I don't know what else. Is you, have, you have a problem yeah, with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have okay. a problem with Zach Cooper, but that's also another thing. <laughs> well, um, that guy's a jerk. Fucking Harry Smith, Davy Boy Smith. That guy's a fucking ass too. He's uh, not good. He's not good. I've never liked him. I I I was watching matches. Well, you before. know what? He, all right. So here's he's a he, name. Here's one of the problems why I don't like Jinder Mahal as well, right? You know why he got released from WWE, right? Mahal? No. no. Oh, Smith. Smith uh, Royds. Royds. Yeah. He got but sent home for Royds, and then Jinder Mahal's the champion. He is <laughs> the poster boy for Royds. <laughs> I really don't think yes. he is. Dude, no. I oh, see. What? I, are oh, you my kidding me? Gender? Are you? Dude, there's a before and after There's a needle picture. hanging out of his there's ass. A, there was a before. Dude, if, if you saw a picture of his ass, it's going to be nothing but fucking needles going in. It's, Look how big his fucking head is. He's also like a nutrition master. I don't give a shit. That doesn't mean you're super fucking vain Does like nutrition that. give you and, acne like that? Uh, no, absolutely no. not. Absolutely not. It should clear it up. Absolutely. And, Him and Brian Lesnar sleep together. <laughs> one thing about Lesnar, oh, one thing about Lesnar, I said, you know, I said he's on roids earlier. He may not be. He's just he's a he freak of nature. A, that one. And he's he, a badass. He's a and farm he, boy. Yeah, and he's a farm boy. And oh yeah, a farm, I, know, I know. Farm I boys know. always them I corn to, fed. I used, to, fucking I used to watch his matches when he wrestled for University of Minnesota. Yeah, no big boy. Yeah, that's right. He was huge back then. NCAA oh, yeah. champion. He played football. He went. In. He's, he's a badass. I know, no, no, absolutely. Yeah. Like I said, that was a joke with Lesnar with the roids, but not for Mahal. That is all roids all the time. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I agree with you on that. <laughs> but the thing with, with Harry Smith, right? It's not Davy Boy Smith. No, he's I going think by it Harry. He's on going by Harry. Right okay. Because in the fucking promo earlier, he said both names. It was Davy Boy Smith on the Ring of Honor show I just watched recently. I forget who he's, who he's with. He was a six, uh, the six man tag. It's um, the elite. Yeah, he, squad listen, or he's, he's, he's not that great. He's, not, he's know, not as I, good as he, his father. He there tried, was a but. spot. I didn't know he was the wrestler. Where he was. Yeah. Gonna do like a, a, what is it called when you like? With like, Elgin, right? Where, yes. Yes. Yeah, we're right. It was the spot where he what dropped the, to his belly, grabbed his leg, sweep. Right. That's all was, it is. Was it the yeah. drop toe hold? I've, oh, I've drop it. toe hold. Yes. Okay. Thank you. He went to go do that, but he didn't kick Elgin. So he just kind of like his legs landed on either side of Elgin. Well, and Elgin I, like I, I have, went, oh shit, I gotta fall. <laughs> see, I have the tendency where I do a drop toe hold that like I tend to slide in before. Like, you know, usually the, the the whole deal is both your legs wrap around their legs where they trip. Mm-hmm. Well, usually I actually ended up sliding in early to where both of my legs are on the inside, so then I just fucking trip them. I was like, <laughs> sure, <laughs> just, but that makes sense. But then the guy knows to fall. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I'll legit enough. trip these motherfuckers. Um, but that whole match was just not good. Didn't he win? And no, he didn't. And, he and, and I'm not a yeah. big Elgin fan either. I know most indie fans are going to hate me for that. I. He he comes off boring sometimes. He does. Not not that he's not good. He's just boring to me. That, that not that he's not good. He's, he needs, he's good. He's just boring. He needs an actual character. Like like Cage. Cage was Ooh. getting that way for a while, but then he started getting to the point where oh wait no he's fun to watch again. He's he's actually pretty fun to watch. Cause Elgin get your shit in. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Elgin. Uh, Elgin. The thing about Elgin is that you know they both work on the whole feats of strength thing, mm-hmm. but like. Cage does it in fun ways, 
I guess. Like, okay. Right. And, and Elgin kind of just does, like, oh, hey, I'm doing a suplex and I'm squatting. And I'm squatting. You know, that kind of stuff. Brian Cage is like, I'm about to fall away slam three people. Yeah. Watch this. That's fun. Right, <laughs> that's great. Also, like his personality, I can get behind. He's a really entertaining dude. Yes. Elgin, man, it's taken too long. He's been around too long. He should have a. Good He's working in right Japan now. these days too. Is he? Yeah. Well, you don't really need a super strong character in Japan. No, not really. So that's not to be, good for him. Just have to be able to work. Elgin, yeah, uh, yeah just uh, like like I said, I'm, I'm so, not that I think he's not good because he is good. He's just boring for me. Yeah, and it's you don't really need a character for the World Cup either. No, I mean, no. I mean, the names help. Can, like, can, I, can I, have... I be honest? Mike Bailey stuck out in that whole fucking tournament. Oh, wow, yeah. that guy was incredible. Holy but, shit. I hope, I hope he wins so he I can buy himself some goddamn shoes. That bothered the piss <laughs> out of me. Why? He, dude, he, has, he has tights and kick pads and no shoes. <laughs> and no shoes. He's a fucking martial artist. I don't care. It still looks trashy. Put some shoes on. Trashy some new stuff. It still looks trash. Like, it, it looks yardy. Socks. It looks yardy. Yeah. Huh. The socks were That's the out. only problem. It looks yardy. If he wore, like... You know, there's those martial arts shoes, like the ones that like Bruce Lee used to wear, that like are just nothing but like it looks like a sock on their foot. Yeah. Wear that underneath. Boom. You're good. They're you're good. Asics or like, whatever they're called. If you're gonna wear wrestling kick pads, wear Asics. wrestling mm-hmm. wear wrestling footwear. Yeah. Like uh, like he could have wore karate kick pads and then wore freaking MMA shorts like this. Asics you know, he has like wrestling tights and anything. kick pads. But it's, again, it's, it's something you're gonna remember him for. I, I remember him for how good he was. Yeah. I was glad it's I remember how funny. good he that, that moonsault power slam was that fantastic. was amazing. That was fantastic. That was so cool. And his finisher's a shooting star knee drop, and what every sing, every single time he just knees him directly in the yeah. ribs. I'm like, yeah. fuck! God damn! <laughs> what? What are you pointing at, Brooks? I want to I want to see the what y'all talking about the shooting star. Oh, oh the shooting oh, star. Okay, knee well, drop. Yeah. okay, yeah, it's we'll, pretty we'll bring that up. brutal. Yeah, we'll show you some highlights from mm-hmm. the. Uh, what culture pro wrestling uh, world, world cup. cup? And so far, I've only watched the Canadian can- uh, the Canadian qualifier because everyone was to talk about it. I am gonna go watch the Scottish qualifier and the we, Mexican qualifier. We have not watched the Scottish. Maybe we should turn that on like right now. Yeah, we should probably put that on and. Uh, and the Mexican. The Mexican one was great. Yes. Well, yeah, just looking at the card, it's freaking Patron versus Mysterio. I was like, okay. You want to know something interesting about that show? Was what cultures had to cancel some of their shows now? Because a lot of the money they make from that, because their shows are very cheap to go to, mm-hmm. they make it from YouTube revenue. Mm-hmm. YouTube has labeled wrestling as a whole as not advertiser friendly. Yep. They got million over a million views on that Mexican, and you get more money the longer the show is. Yeah. So they got well over watch a million time, views. Watch time, bro. Watch times. It's what three hours long. Yeah. They made forty three dollars. Dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I saw like, the partition. The I did too. Partition. They were pretty much like, Petition. we have to cancel some of our shows. We can't do this. It's going to kill us. Yeah. But now they're doing Fight Back, which the logo even looks like the YouTube logo. It looks like it's going to be incredible. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. I Listen, for me, like, oh, God. That Mike Bailey, I love when you watch World Cups and like, stuff like that in wrestling. 20 moves of Mike Bailey. Because, to me, I love the unknowns. When unknowns, yeah. when unknowns come into a big event, they bust their ass. Yeah. Like, yeah. They yeah. fucking go off, and mm-hmm. I love it. Like, there's a match with Joe Henry, and I can't remember his first name, but his last name's Kirby. It's okay. a great match. Dude. The Joe Henry and, uh, and El, El Laguero, right? Yeah. That was, was the main event, though. Yeah, that was really and that, good, that was And that was a good old-school main event. I don't know it who was... either of those guys are. I only know them. I've, I've, heard, I've, I've seen the masked one around. I, I've seen him like Shakara and stuff. For they're, sure. They're great. WCPW is doing great things right now. And he is definitely not Mexican. <laughs> no. <laughs> I looked no. him up. He's British. No, no. But the, um, yeah, the Hendry, is that his name? Yes. Hendry guy, went, Hendry Kirby for the Mexican one, I think was the, ma- was the main event for the, the Mexican qualifier. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. One of the most brutal matches I've I seen. I can't think of a wrestling match in recent memory that's made me upset. And I didn't know why they're one of those guys. Yeah, it's it's physically it's upsetting. upsetting uh, NXT watch. live shows. Yeah, like you're like, oh no. my NXT God. live shows, like, <laughs> like, I don't know you, I don't know you. Oh, crap, the match sucks. No, not that kind of upsetting. No, 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 like, 
Like, like you're go fucking burn in hell, Joe Andrew. You're don't you're fucking die. How are you allowed to do that to another human? Like no. and that's all I want to say it's, about it because you need to go watch it. Dude, there's yeah, a, there's a guy it. who used to work back in the day named Damien Six Six Six. You ever heard of this guy? I have. Yeah. I've watched highlight videos and it makes me want to literally find him and hang him. Right. Yeah. Like. Ah. And he just right. legit punched people and just, oh, everything he did was so unsafe. They yeah. came for stiff. <laughs> uh, they came for stiff. Have you seen that, by the way? Yes. If not, you should. All right. Um, I guess that kind of wraps it up for us. We're going to go watch the uh, Scottish qualifiers. Yeah, and make some hot dogs and turkey burgers. Yeah, let's fucking eat. Turkey burgers. And I'm going to so, go home and make sweet love to my life. hey So, yeah, thank you for listening, guys. This bang, has bang, been the, bang. This has been the Future Heels Podcast. <laughs> You can find us on YouTube. You look up YouTube Villains Entertainment. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Cast Crunch. And you can find us on SoundCloud. You can also find us at thefuturevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. You can find me on YouTube, Best in the Realm, and twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Brian, where can they find you? I'm on... Instagram, Brian Man 1138 Twitter, at Brian25, uh, YouTube, Nerdy Brian Man, or just on the Future Villains website. Coach? You can find me at uh, Instagram at jbrooks42, Twitter, jeremybrooks42, and that's pretty much it. Facebook, Jeremy Brooks, and you can probably just find me walking around the damn streets, so I don't know. <laughs> he is everywhere. <laughs> that's where you find <laughs> He's everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Yeah, that's very that's very true. That is true. That is bro. You know, you know I'm just glad than me. that when I asked where can they find your books, he just started giving his fucking address. As long as you bring me something to eat, you come on there over. There you go. 3296 Westmoreland. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Shit. I don't know. He's coming on a random I'm address. So, Roll with it, man. I'm sorry. Who the fuck need, looks there? Do I need to bleep that out? I don't know, man. No. That's, that's so, sketchy I'm, as fuck, dude. <laughs> where can they find you, Chris? Uh... You can find me on Facebook, Chris Gonzalez. You can find me at, at most of your local indie shows. If you look around, you might see Chris Braddock on the card. Uh, and then hopefully uh, you'll see me and ask for some autographs. We're going to make you a Facebook and a Twitter. Hopefully you'll find yeah. him at Chris Braddock on Facebook, Chris Braddock on Instagram. Well, Com- we'll be out. Ha- ha- yeah, coming soon, dot, dot, dot. Okay. <laughs> you might find me as his manager. Maybe. Oh. Thanks for joining us, guys. Let's stop. <laughs>